Hey, okay, so today I'm gonna do something different from what I normally do, which is talk about some books, then show you the books, you know? Um, today I'm gonna talk about um, my reading journal and all the lists I make for reading, which, okay, it's not a lot, but it's something, you know? Um, let me just get started. My first list that I always keep up to date is <laughs> all the Stephen King novels I have and then the Dutch and the English version um, because I'm worried that if I go somewhere and buy a Stephen King book that I already have it which would be a bummer um, okay you know like two editions of the same book that's fine but I first want to at least have all of them before I buy second editions um, but yeah that's the first list that I always have and then um, I mark them green when I've read them uh, then um, this is my trusty notebook and I keep a list in here of all the books that I have um, so th these are the books from all the authors Let me see. and I mark them when I've read them and uh, the white ones means I haven't started them and then here's a half one I don't know if you can see that but that's a half one uh, means I've started it but haven't finished it yet um, but the half one on this page I have finished yesterday evening. So, um, those are some simple lists. I have six pages of this. Um, I also, also make lists of New Year's resolutions in here. Um, but yeah, that kind of keeps my TBR organized in my head, which is really nice. Um, then finally the biggest and I'm going to show you my process uh, for this one. Um, it's my reading journal and I absolutely love my reading journal. <laughs> like I started it uh, this year and it's really cool to look at because like I use washi tape. <laughs> Um, but I will show you how I do this because like how I write in my reading journal um, because I'm a bit behind <laughs> on all the book update thingies so I'll just show you um, how I am filling in my reading journal for 1984 I've already put some things here but yeah, I'll get back to you and I'll show you what I do. So, as you could see, um, I always print out a little picture of the cover first and always the cover that I have in my edition. Um, and then, like, I, bleh, I print them out at like uh, a height of seven and a half centimeters and then the width that comes with that. Um, then I start by putting these things uh, on the left here so pages genre formats rating published started and finished um, those are just little 
pieces of information I like to put in here. And then I always choose uh, a color of washi tape because, yeah, and the color of washi tape really must um, match the story or the covers. Here you can see um, Harry Potter and then blue because, of course, a blue cover. Um, so let me get my washi tapes. Today we have these ones, they're just plain colours but I really like them because like they also have some neon or pastel, which is really nice. Um, I think I'm gonna choose this one because, you know, red. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you when I've put this in my beautiful reading journal. Okay, then to get the necessary info, um, I look at Goodreads, but I also grab my book, so this is by the way the shelves, uh, shelf of some of my favourites, or some I just really enjoyed, so yeah, there's 1984, which you can already guess the rating then, um, so we're gonna look at this but also i have my laptop open for goodreads um reading challenge that's the easiest way to get to that oh. mm -hmm. and then see yeah i've read a couple of books since then um here we go, 1984. Just gonna look at it. Um, as you can see, rating of five stars. Um, my status. Started it on April 24th. No, that. Oh, oh, that's when I shelved it. Oops. Uh, March 8th. And then I finish it on March 14th. Uh, then I always look in the book for the publishing date. Sometimes I choose the original publishing date. Sometimes another one. Uh, we're going for 1949. Still need to find out how many pages it's got. And I know you can find that on Goodreads, but <laughs> don't really care. <laughs> um, let me see. That's an appendix. <laughs> Which I don't count the appendix because it's not the actual story. Uh, 342 pages. Well, okay, by the way, these pens, I absolutely love them. <laughs> like, I'm not like a study channel thingy, study inspo, whatever. Um, but I love these pens. Um, yeah, they also last pretty long. At least the ones which have like this filling. There are also some with white. Um, they last a bit less long, but yeah. Now I already forgot how many pages it was. I think it was 342. Let me check. Okay, it was 342. So we're going to put that down here. Then the genre, which is, of course... Okay, my alarm went off. Um, yeah, the genre, of course, dystopian. Format, I have it in paperback. Rating. Okay, so this one isn't really good, as in you can barely see it, as you can see here. But I do like having my rating in yellow, so I don't really care since I know what I rated to book. Um, this one I clearly gave five stars. So uh, there you go. Um, yes, 
uh, published, so that was... Where is my pen? <laughs> oh, there it is. Um, of course, 1949. Because Orwell wrote it in 1948 and wanted to see for himself sort of what 1984 would be like under to totalitarian rulers. Uh, then started, that was March 8th, 2019, so, um, let's see, mm -hmm. 8 of 3, 19, sorry for all you Americans out there, this is how I write my dates, finished it on 14 of 3, 19. Uh, then we go to writing the blurb. Oh my god, I'm a moron, aren't I? Yeah. I am ruining my journal. Okay, so the blurb. I don't even know if this one has a blurb. Oh, yeah, sort of. Um, but when it has like quotes from the book I normally look for another blurb uh, from another the um, edition so that's what I'm gonna do I'll be back yay so thank you penguin now I can write this this is also a penguin edition which I absolutely love As you can see the the sensor bars and you can yeah you can feel the letters but you can't really see them um, but, yes, we're gonna write down the blurb. Um, y'all. Yeah. Finally, I write down my thoughts on this page. Uh, sometimes it's very short what I write down, and sometimes, um, yeah, I write down a bit more. Um, for this one, I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll see while I'm writing. <laughs> So here you have it, um, a part of my reading journal and how I, um, yeah, kind of update it. I still have, let me turn, one, two, three, four, I have eight covers I haven't even put in here, so I'm a bit behind and I've also got some here that I haven't written about yet. Um, but, you know, I'll be fine. <laughs> uh, I'll update it later because, um, yeah, I have some free time now. Um, yeah, that was it. So, you know, guys, keep reading what you're reading and uh, like, subscribe, comment, love your comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, bye.